right now we're getting ready to head to the snowball and being prepared is going to give us the best opportunity to hopefully win that race so i'm just getting my tires done for the test that we go do on sunday monday i got my tire specialist josh jones right there i really hope you put that in there so i'm just mounting tires checking stagger stagger is a big thing with uh, the spools that we run Let's make sure all that's right that way we aren't chasing tires when we go there which typically i don't have any problems so we're we're in good shape i'm really really excited about it So obviously uh, the Snowball Derby is a really big, big event. It's the biggest super late model event in the country. And we built a brand new Port City car and we came down here to race against them. So I love racing short tracks in the country. And, and really this event is, is the biggest event. So why not come and race the best? Wish we could have qualified better right there. Uh, that was was frustrating for myself, Chris, and everybody who's been working on this and kind of scratching our heads. So I know we have a really good race car. Uh, we we focus on race trim and all those things throughout throughout practices. So we know we're really good. Just doesn't help us starting as far back as we are. Everything. Thank you. Oh, Thanks. What? Mic up. Yeah, man. Come on over. Let's talk. Let's talk racing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you sell my hat and my shirt? Yep. I mean, short track racing's thriving. Just look around here. So, uh, yeah. No, I, I, I love it. I love everything about it. It's cool to be here. Good luck. Thanks for the event. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Thank you. My man Snowman. Thank you. Ryan, third Snowball Derby start today. You finished fourth a couple of years ago. What's it going to take to get up there and contend again today? Fast car, patience, and, and uh, really just keep your eyes open on the start. Uh, starting back there is going to be a challenge, but certainly we have a really, really fast uh, Morton Buildings, RaceChoice.com, Port City, super late model today. And, you know, we got a great team. So thank you, Kevin and Delano Harvick, for, for putting this program together and, and really put, investing in short track racing. And we're going to go give them, uh, we're going to move forward and try to try to give them a run today. Ryan Priest in the 62. As a racer and as a short track racer, when you, when you think of the Snowball Derby, no matter where you're from, the Northeast, the West, the Southeast, the biggest, biggest super late model race in the country. And, and obviously coming here, you can, you can see that. Yeah, so our race was over pretty quick. Uh, going into turn one, lap one, everybody just checked up and 
I checked up and got pushed in from behind, so it was um, pushed the nose up and just started all our issues from there. So not uh, not exactly what any of us wanted. We um, we're all frustrated, so it's it's unfortunate. I would say the damage caused a lot of the issues. So we had a really good car and race trim all week and never even had a chance to show it. So.